Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Okay, before we get into this video, this is what my eyebrows look like, alright? The reason I'm doing an updated brow routine is because so many of you guys have asked me to do it. So if you don't like my eyebrows, leave, alright? You've gotten a good look at them, leave. <laughs> I'm so sick of people, okay no honestly, there's honestly been about five people, I'm just being dramatic. But people saying to me, can you do a dramatic brow, can you do like a structured eyebrow, and like, no, that's not, that's not me, okay? That does not suit my face, all right? Some people can get away with that. Some people look unbelievable with it. Some people look really weird with fluffy eyebrows, you know? Each person has a brow for them. Each person has a brow to suit them. This is what suits me. If you want a more dramatic eyebrow, if you want a more like Instagram eyebrow, there is plenty, plenty of other people on YouTube that can do that for you guys, all right? This is the way I like to do my eyebrows. If you don't like them, leave, all right? I'm not holding a gun to your head saying you need to do your eyebrows like this. Yeah, that's out of the way. <laughs> I'm bringing you guys an updated brow routine. It's been something that has been super highly requested. I have changed up a few of my products. You guys know I love a good fluffy eyebrow, a good hairy eyebrow, something I was not blessed with, something I have to give myself. This is the way I've been doing my eyebrows this past few months. So yeah, if you want to see how to get a nice fluffy eyebrow, then keep on watching. I look fabulous. Glorious. As you can see, this is what my eyebrows look like. I am not blessed in the eyebrow department, all right? I don't have caterpillars. I have worms, all right? Worms for eyebrows. Very, very skinny. I really like to transform my brows. and basically get as much use out of the little brow hair that I have. I've never had my eyebrows done. I am gonna get them done soon. I'm just sick of looking at them whenever they don't have anything in them. I just, <laughs> it's a bad time. Anyways, I'm gonna stop feeling sorry for myself and just show you how we do this. All right, let's do this. Sad brow, happy brow, sad brow, happy brow. Well, how I do my brows is I always make sure that I have my base makeup done and I especially have all my powders on. I just find the way I do my eyebrows, if I do my powder after my eyebrows, then the powder gets into my eyebrows and they look weird. So just make sure that you have got all your powders down, highlighter, bronzer, all the works. The reason why I like to do my brows after my foundation as well is because I find if I do my brows first because it's the first thing I'm looking at, I spend ages on them. Like, ages on them and I just don't have time for that. Like I couldn't be arsed. I could not be arsed spending 15, 20 minutes on my eyebrows, like no. Also I find that if I do them after my foundation, they kind of mix with the foundation and the concealer's a little bit on my skin so they don't come out as harsh. If I'm wearing like barely any makeup, I'll always go a little bit more au natural than this. But these are like, but I want to show you my full blown eyebrows because obviously it's harder to do them than it is the au natural ones. My ride or die. Goof proof brow pencil. I use the shade 3, it's just a nice kind of taupey brown. So, this is what it looks like here. Not like a little pen tip, it has like an angle tip. It does keep its shape relatively well. And then it has a little spoolie on the end, mine's all gunked up. So, we are just going to brush through the brows first, just to make sure the brow hairs are sitting in place. Make sure there's no excess product. Like, look how disgusting they are. So, I apply this super messily, like so messy, and then I clean it up afterwards. So. It literally takes me five minutes to do my brows. So I'm starting underneath here first. So I like to bring my brow quite like straight underneath. As you can see, I'm lacking, lacking a little bit of hair here. So I like to start where I have to fill in the most. So right kind of like underneath my arch. Again, I'm gonna be super messy with this. Draw on that baseline. Like so, kind of make sure you have a lighter hand when you come up into this area. Then I start to fill in that tail. And kind of extend the brow slightly. I always do my brows before my eye makeup, obviously just because I have to carve them out. So you want to draw the brow strokes in the way that your natural brow grows. So the hair on my brow grows this way, so that's why I'm moving the pencil in that way. I do like to use a pencil as opposed to a gel. I just find a gel, especially if you've got really furry eyebrows, it kind of clumps the eyebrows together and I don't like that. It kind of gives that more Instagram brow and I'm, I'm not really into that at the moment. I am going to build up my arch slightly. I've been, I've been into that recently. I've been enjoying doing that recently. Just ever so slightly though. I only bring it up to, as you can see, how far my brow hairs 
kind of start brushing through to make sure I've gotten everywhere. Then once you get to the front, I'm gonna start flicking the product upwards. So like what I was saying earlier, we're following the way in which the brow hair grows. So at the front of the brow, the brow hairs grow up. So I'm going to flick the product round like so and kind of mimic hair strokes. The funny thing is these definitely aren't gonna be the way I want just because I'm focusing so much on them. You don't wanna be focused on something too much and it just, you end up overdoing it. Yeah. Then just again going through my spoolie, make sure we didn't miss any areas. Before I use my brow gel, I like to carve out the brows first. So to do this, I'm just going to use my Makeup Revolution Concealer in the shade C4. So this is the one I use in my first. I know some people like to use like Max Select Cover Up or even like the P. Louise base. If you do like a more strong brow bone, then you go for that. But I don't really like a big like white brow bone look. It's just not something I'm particularly into. So I just find using your concealer makes it not as harsh. And the brush I'm using this on is honestly just a little paint brush you can get from your art and hobby shop. This was literally like 250. The reason why I like it is because it's nice and flat at the top like you can see. First of all how skinny it is so you're going to get it super sharp but because it's flat I just find it's really great getting a nice sharp straight line here. And we're just going to start from the inner part and work our way out. This brush honestly just does all the work for you. And I'm just bringing in the excess onto my lid. The difference that makes is glorious. So that's why I couldn't give a shit earlier about if it came down too far, because you can just clean it up like so. Now what can happen sometimes if you use too much concealer, it can start to gather around the brow bone. So if that happens, what you want to do is just take your ring finger and just like press over it lightly. That's gonna take off any excess product, any product that might have just been like gathered there. So now for my favorite part, the moon event. So in my opinion, because I love fluffy eyebrows so much, eyebrows are supposed to be hairy, all right? They're not supposed to just look stamped onto your face. They're supposed to be hairy. I've tried a lot of eyebrow mascaras. To be honest, a lot of them are quite expensive and yeah, they just don't work as well as this guy. So with my brow hairs, the trick is I like to kind of push them up that therefore makes them look a lot fuller than what they are. Like when people see my eyebrows without makeup, they're like, oh, Lord, bless you. But what I actually like to use is this Swarsh Cough Got To Be Glued Water Resistant Spiking Glue. So this is actually for your hair. I used to use the hairspray, but I just find this is a little bit easier to work with. It doesn't dry as quick as the hairspray and it's just unreal. Unreal. It's four euro guys. All right, four euro from like boots and look at the size of it. Like the amount you get in it and you only have to use the tiniest, tiniest amount. So I like to put it on the back of a palette or whatever. Sorry, so safe. That's how much I like to take. I don't even use half of that and that does my two eyebrows. Then you're gonna take a spoolie Mine already has loads of stuff all over it. <laughs> we want to take the spoolie and just press it in the product. So I like, kind of like to bounce it in and out of it just to kind of get it covered in it slightly. Starting from the front and working our way back. You don't want to keep going back in and trying to fix it. You kind of want to get it on the first go, guys, because if you keep going back in and trying to fix it, you're going to be adding more product and your brow hairs are actually going to stick together. You only need the tiniest, teeniest amount. You can see how much that lifted up my brow hairs, how much it made each individual eyebrow hair stand out. That's what I want in life, like good, hairy eyebrow. It makes me so happy. So as you can see guys, I really do like to like transform my eyebrows and this is the only thing that i found that really kind of keeps my eyebrow hairs up all day. Normally whenever I use any other brow mascaras, if I step outside, gravity happens and my eyebrows just... This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. If you want to change up your complete eyebrow the way I do, or else if you have like really thick, coarse hairs and you find they just like fall down and they're very hard to control throughout the day, just use the tiniest amount of this and I promise you it will not move. It will not move. What's a really smart idea actually that I've seen some girl doing is she took her old brow mascara and she put this stuff in it. That way it's a lot easier for her to manage because she has the little brow mascara in it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I've mentioned it on like my snaps and stuff like that before and so many people have started using this and are absolutely obsessed with it. I really, really recommend it to any of you guys, honestly, that there's a finished tutorial for you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed.
and learn something new and fun and different. Eyebrows are such a personal thing. Every single person on this planet is going to do their eyebrows differently. If you enjoyed this video, then please make sure to give it a big thumbs up down below and don't forget to comment what you want to film. What you want to film? What you want me to film next? I've got a few new tutorials coming up this week. I've got a how I curl my hair quick easy lazy i'll leave that link here or down below or somewhere if you guys want to check that out i've got a new pennies haul coming all right a new drugstore one and i've got what else have i got and my first favorites video as well all of that is coming next week so please make sure to like subscribe and hit that little notification bell button so you don't miss anything thank you guys so much for watching once again and hopefully i'll see you in my next video Bye bye